Hello, greetings and salutations, guys. Welcome to another edition of First Shots, First Impressions. I'm your host, Dan the Wolfman, and guess what we'll be checking out today? The SIG P365. Now, this gun is a range rental, and it was very dirty, but I did wipe it down. It was dry. I wiped it down, got some of the gunk out, uh, you know, took the slide off. Took the barrel out quickly, and then I did uh, put some CLP type stuff all along the rails, so it should run fine. It is broken in. Uh, we'll see. This is my very first time shooting the gun, so I'm excited. Uh, I also I've only held it a couple times in the past. Going to shoot the first 10 rounds with SMB 115 grain. This is at like 1,230 feet per second. This is pretty much the hottest stuff that you can buy. That's close to plus P. That you can really buy for target ammo. So the first ten rounds in the uh, with the pinky extender are going to be in that, and then with the short mag, I got it loaded up with ten rounds of Federal 115 grain brass. So let's see how it does. Now I'm just going to do the first five shots towards center mass at only five yards because that's what I happened. I was going to do seven, but the other day I did a uh, Walter PPQ SC. And uh, guys, I'll compare them in the, in the very next video. But um, so I want to do at least the first few shots similar to what I did the other day. To be fair, comparing these subcompact, this is obviously small. I'm really almost in a different category. Subcompact nine millimeter that are ten plus one. All right, here we go. I actually flinched a little bit there, it's like getting short stroked. Okay, three of those look like they're, they're there. Uh, one was off. This is hot stuff. It's my first time shooting it. Recoil is fairly stiff with the hot stuff uh, compared to the wall that I shot two days ago. Looks like three are touching right there. So first couple shots low on left. One definitely high. Not the best grouping. Um, but not bad. You know, this is a smaller pistol, and it's going to shoot like a smaller pistol, lighter pistol, that it is. I think it's 17.8 ounces, very light. Really size comparison wise, guys, this is uh, this is an LC9. So instead of 7 plus 1, it's 10 plus 1, and they also have an extra 12 round mag you can get that doesn't come with it. All right, let's see what we should do. I got five more in here. Let's see if I can aim this up to the head. And we'll keep it there at five yards. I'll do 25 rounds with this pistol today. I'm loving the front uh, big dot sight. I'm glad they all switched to the x-ray sights. Now, I do have a lot of trigger time. Most trigger time on a pistol in recent years has been on a 320, my 320 compact, so which I love. So, you know, I, I do have experience with this basic trigger setup and feel. I have extra large hands, though. That was dead on. A little snappy, but controllable with the pinky extender. There we go. This one was a flyer. Okay, so first ten shots. my first five center mass there's my next five I threw the last shot so slow fire that's slow fire and rapid fire I think you'll see that you know it's not it's small for me I have extra large hands um, I love the sight so far it's very thin for my size and I'll talk about more and more in this video and then when I get into a comparison video with the PPQSC I'll kind of talk about this is kind of in the same category, kind of in a different category, all by itself, really. 
in there with the LC9, with the single stacks, with the Glock 43, you know, kind of with a shield and a PPS. Um, but I'd really put it in there with the LC9 and the Glock 43. So uh, it does feel very good in the hand. So I'm not doing an unboxing vid, I'll do some of, kind of more of this stuff. This is a range gun that's been used quite a bit. Like I said, it was really filthy and dry, so I made sure to give it a fair chance that I at least did a partial cleaning on it and re the rails. Can barely get a pinky on, but I can, so I got a half of a pinky. That's enough to control it. Um, the sights, x-ray sights, I'm so glad that they came with the x-ray. I love for especially for this type of pistol for a real subcompact carry pistol something with a big front either phosphorescent or night sight should come even if they don't come with uh, with rear night sights I wish all the manufacturers switched to a front night sight and either a blacked out rear or phosphorescent rear uh, let's go let's go with that you know let's put a nice big glowing dot on the front no matter what if this pistol you know this isn't a range pistol if you buy this pistol this is for carry uh, so this definitely could be a good backup pistol, in my opinion. Uh, and really, it should be kind of, we'll talk more about that. Really, it should be kind of be more regulated than that. I'd like to get some more rounds in it. Um, nice slide serrations, blocking. Good little undercut there. That's not bad for the finger. Actually, that's pretty comfortable there. Triangle mag release is kind of interesting. So ergonomically, especially for how not tall it is for, for the height, ergonomically they've done a very good job designing it. Now obviously it's had some reliability issues. I think those are getting worked out as time goes by. I have not bought it yet, even though I might order one if I like it, we'll see. Uh, but if I do, it won't be like Christmas time, and that's probably five months away from then. So, you know, kind of giving it some time to work out the kinks a little bit, hopefully. So, let's put 10 more rounds through it and change the target. Sorry for the delay. Guys, I am at um, Range Guns and Safes. Check it out, they got two locations in Atlanta. So I'm at Range Guns and Safes. They're nice enough to put me back here on the rifle range. So I can bring you guys video, tech, take the rental guns, bring you first shots, first impressions, so I'm working with them, they're working with me. This may very well someday be my offside gun replacing my LCP, which is my backup gun. This may very well, it's, this will never probably be my primary gun. Because I'm big, I'm like 230 pounds and I have a XL glove. So 5'11", 230 it is kind of small for me. Now, it has very good sights, very good trigger. So I could probably, with practice, make some long range shots on it. But, primary gun, for bigger people, I would say no, this should be backup duty. Even though it's 365, it could be 365 in my pocket, just like my LCP always is, no matter what. Even in non-pervasive environments, it's there, but usually it's a secondary backup, offside. This may very well replace the LCP for me at some point. However, uh, for primary, I would say, uh, already, I would say that it's better for people under 140, 150 pounds. People, smaller stacks, we recoil a bit with the hot stuff and with plus two. If you have smaller hands, if you're a skinny guy or girl, especially if you're gonna, if you're experienced enough to carry safely to carry appendix, then yeah, this is so small and so thin. If I was an appendix carrier, Look at that, that's thin. This thing could be, you know, just so easy that it's not ever hurting your hips all day long like, like I do carrying two pistols that are heavier and stuff like that. You know, I'm trying to get that down. So right now I'm actually carrying the SC Walder in my pocket and the LCP in my left pocket. Cause I'm in a hot state. Sometimes with jeans I'm carrying, the LCP is always there so it's the same and I'm carrying something on my hip. It used to be the 320 compact. So, anyway, let's shoot some more, and uh, just think about size, how size you are, because even looking at photos, empty gun here, even looking at photos, you will never realize how small this pistol 
really is. All right, 10 more rounds. This time switching over to the Federal Brass in the flat mag. So it shouldn't recoil as bad. And then maybe I'll get to some triple taps or rapid uh, fire fast five in a second. Let's see what it looks like with the pinky mag on me. Oh yeah, that's not comfortable at all. Because my pinky's going right in to here, which sucks. Or I gotta go it under like a teacup. And just for my size hands, everyone's different. You know, I'm above average. So um, I hate pinky dangling anyway, but with the flat mag and the Walder PPQSC or the FNS9 compact, it um, feels better than this does because naturally it wants to go there and that ridge is going in the middle of my finger and that kind of sucks. So I'd always carry this, even in a pocket with the uh, pinky extender. And if I was gonna uh, inside waistband carry this, however, if I was a skinnier dude, then I would carry, I'd buy the 12 round mag. All right. So let's see, let's go center mass again. This time we're at seven yards. I'll do some slow fire stuff first. Let's do uh, slow fire three or three to five. Let's see how I'm feeling. High but centered, that's good. Center. See, I'm even flinching a little bit. I never flinch. I never am recoil sensitive with any firearm. 12 gauge, shorties, shock waves, you know, everything. I'm actually flinching a little bit. That's still good, you know, acceptable combat actually, especially seven yards, but um, and this is the, the less recoiling stuff. This is, is apparently supposedly like 1150, I believe. It says it on the box. 1125. So this is 11.25 instead of 12.30, according to the manufacturers. Now that's probably out of a four inch barrel, or four and a half inch barrel, probably four inch barrel. So this is, you know, not as bad, but still, with, and, but that's with the, the flat mag as well. So that's okay. That's okay. This gun would take a little more practice. It's, it's, it's really a smaller size. It's like the difference between a J-Frame 38 which everyone says to beginners, and it's like the worst thing. That's like an expert's gun. A J-Frame 38 takes a lot of practice. The smaller guns that recoil more take a lot of practice, is all that I'm saying. Very well designed as far as the magazine. Um, it seems to, to manage to get those rounds in there. Ergonomically very well designed, you know, but it is a small gun. Shooting some decent Sammy pressure out of it, and you know, it's, it's not really meant to be a range gun, I don't think. This is meant to be a, a, a gun you shoot sometimes and put in your pocket. Not necessarily a gun that you shoot two, three, four, five, six thousand rounds through it like you do 